Hello, it's Rachel from Central Texas Zone AB, and I am going over some bulbs that I got for uh, Texas this year. I don't usually do bulbs. I've been um, learning so much about other plants, I felt like adding on um, bulbs would just be a little too much for me, and this is the first year that I really feel like I'm able to try them out. So I'm new to them, obviously, like so many gardening things and so many of the things I do, I'm new to it and I'm gonna try it out and and see how it goes. So I'm gonna go over with y'all what I got. I did do a lot of research and what does well in Texas and all these things and hopefully I um, made some good choices. So, um, you know, but that's just, that is a learning thing. It's a learning curve for your yard, what works well there and in each spot, the sunlight, the, you know, the cold factor, the warmth factor, if it's up against the house, all these things play into it and so, um, you know, you just kind of got to discover the little microclimates around your, your place. Um, anyhow, but going into what I actually got, let me uh, grab my stuff here. So first up, I um, planted in the back uh, fence bed, which is kind of like my moon garden, um, very pale blooming flowers, pale pinks. I do have a few um, pale purples and things in there too. Uh, so just things that will reflect light a lot, you know, or somewhat uh, because we have our fire pit back there. I like to, uh, we like to be out there a lot, during, especially during winter season and stuff. So I want something that those bright white flowers that just reflect the, the, the light really well. Um, and, and, you know, there's a few pink flowers and stuff that does do that, does that, uh, that do that as well. <laughs> English, I can speak it. Uh, so I picked up this, um, uh, it's called Leucogem. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, they're very beautiful. I really like them. So they are taller blooming. So I planted those kind of mid, so with a flower bed, maybe I'll draw a picture and put it up. I planted the mid flower bed so that they'll kind of pop up over stuff and then I planted things along the front of the flower bed that are much shorter kind of in the 12 you know an under inch realm 8 to 12 inches those are the front and the front right along the stone border and then in the very middle I planted bees so they should pop up over those and just look really delicate and pretty and I like it um let me go over what else I planted so well, I just kept the bags. I already planted these um, in the previous video. Um, so I just have the empty bags now. I did get these at Costco, which I think quite a few people are doing around town. I've had them sitting on my floor for a long time. I was just waiting for my other bulbs to come in. And Eden Brothers, which is where I ordered my bulbs from, has been very, very slow. I ordered stuff at the beginning of summer and I even had to call them be like, hey, where is my stuff? And they were saying they were waiting on one bulb and it's still that I should get them like mid, mid November. So that's a little frustrating for me, but I, I, th I find that frustrating that they took so long to send me stuff um, and I still haven't gotten it all. So that's why this is a part one because the, my tulips and things have not come in yet. So this is um, stuff that these bulbs do not need to be chilled like tulips or anything. You can just plop them into the ground. So these guys I planted, got these at Costco. There was a lot of them in there. There's 15 of them in there, it said, and they went quite a long way. Now uh, there's a um, nursery in central Austin that I like to go visit sometime called Shoal Creek Nursery. Um, and they have quite a few bulbs as well. And they have these little great hyacinths that are just super pretty um, for $6.99 and I, there's quite a few in there. This one, the pink one, which is called uh, Mascari Pink Sunrise. This was the most expensive at $10.99 and there was quite a few less in here. I think there was only like six or eight in here of these, but they're so pretty I could not resist. This blue one had probably like 12 or 15 bulbs in there. I'm not entirely sure how many, I didn't count, I forgot to count. But it was only $6.99 and that, I just think this is like the cutest flower ever. I can't wait to see this guy bloom. And then of course I got a little white one that was also $6.99 and it had about the same amount of bulbs in it as the blue one. 
So the white one is called Muscari White Magic, and the blue one is Muscari Azurum. 15, oh, 15 count. The white one was 10, 10 count, and then the pink one was five count. So that was that's pretty low for $11, and it's like there's only five little things in there. So, yeah. Anyhow, these are supposed to be... Um, perennial and there apparently is some problem with these spreading um or, and and uh you know kind of taking over so i'll see how these do i might need to dig them up if they start taking over everything however i'm really excited about them i usually don't go in for like a bunch of like i'm not into those like very short season things like all the spring bulbs and stuff but now that i've gotten more comfortable in my gardening as the years have progressed i just feel ready to start diving into this and that's all like gardening is a journey and so so many things you do are a journey it's like what you start out with and what you're comfortable with at the beginning and i literally know at the beginning i was like i'll never do bulbs that just seems like it's over complicating things so much but here i am you know four years into gardening or five years and i'm like okay i i think i'm i'm ready to try them i'm excited i'm very i'm interested and i'm ready to learn new things so that's where i'm at now so these guys went in the back back bed I also have then I got some crocus bulbs large flowering they're called giant Joan of Arc and I'm really excited about crocus bulbs they seem just super cute to me um, so I'm pretty pretty excited to got dirt all over the table pretty excited to see how these do I'm just I'm just generally really excited okay <laughs> All right, now moving on to the front bed. This is where I get into my uh, daffodils and such. Um, I will go over what I got. Most of these, a big chunk of these I got from Lowe's, along with some other things from Eden Brothers. So I got two of these bags. They were only $7.98. Mom, what you doing? No, no. No, no, baby. Um, they are called Replete, and I think they are incredibly beautiful. I just, I love those. And they have all the information on the back. Um, they're, you know, 12 to 18 inches, so I did plant those towards the front of the bed, along with some uh, some anemone bulbs. Um, along the very front. So those went in and then the um, daffodils went in. Then they had this really big bag for um, $12.98 of just these gorgeous blends of colors. So I kind of, and I got two of those. No, I got one of one of these and then uh, more of this yellow one that is in the mix as well, the mix variety, but I just like this one so much. I just wanted to buy one more of those. Um, and then I have again, another bag of the uh, Replete. So this one was called Tahiti and it's just super gorgeous, love it. Um, and then this one was a nice pretty blend of um, daffodils and it's called Good Vibrations Blend. Your local loves will probably have them <laughs> unless they're already all out because my, my, my local loves went, those went pretty quickly. Um, Anyhow, uh, so I sprinkled those along the, the front, uh, the front boxes. There's five of them. There are these uh, raised metal planters. I have red, orange, yellow, and some like pink blends of roses in those. Behind them, I have planted Esperanza that go up way high above and um, have these beautiful yellow clusters of blooms. Um, the daffodils I picked are in the oranges and yellows, the uh, anem anemone... <sighs> Those that I, the ones I planted are um, also in the uh, reds, and let me see how many I got. I'll go into those next since I have the shortest memory out there um, of what I did the day before. So I did two of these uh, anemone bulbs, and how you plant them is there's a more pointy side and a like a kind of flatter side, and you plant the more pointy side down. Let me get a little piece of paper and I'll, I'll draw y'all what I learned. So these little bulbs can look kind of like this, 
or sometimes they kind of look like, you know, this, and they have a couple points that kind of look like teeth, creepy weird brown teeth, and you point this, or you plant this pointy side down and the kind of flatter side goes up. That's my, that was my interpretation of the information I read about how to plant them. Again, I've never planted them before. Very excited. I got a variety that's just called red. Um, and it looks really pretty, like super pretty. So I'll put a picture up somewhere on the uh, screen. The other one I planted was called Elizabeth's Mix. And again, I'll put a picture up somewhere on the screen. They looked super pretty. It was very, I found them very quaint. And I think that all these colors will just blend so nicely in my color bed, or uh, my, you know, words, in my raised <laughs> planters um, that I have these colors going on and I kind of want to keep these color themes. I, I usually am, sorry, I can't even finish a sentence, keep these color themes going throughout the year. Spring, summer, fall, I want these, these, these are the kind of colors I'm going for. I, I used to be kind of scared of planting orange, but I find it right now very exciting. Like not a lot of people plant like huge swatches of like orange blooming things and I kind of I don't know, I kind of want to go for it and, and, and do it. Uh, but I, I, I'm too fickle to stick to one color, so I have to have all the colors, at least, or at least a, a, a variety of colors in there. So I'm going to stay in the orange and yellows and reds area because I can't stick to one color. That's just not how I am. As much as I'd like to, even in my moon garden, I'm like, find myself adding in the pinks and, you know, the purples and the blues because I cannot, I just, I can't stick to one color. <laughs> okay. So the last two things that I planted in my front boxer beds, and I only had two of these roots, these are roots, are the peony roots. And I have a variety called Red Charm. Again, it's so gorgeous. I'll put up a picture. I just, I'm so excited about this one. And the other one is called Jan Van Leeuwen, 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 Jan, Jan Van something. <laughs> um, and they just both look so incredibly beautiful, especially that red one. Oh my gosh. I planted these behind the roses and they're only on the two box or box, uh, two of the box beds. Cause again, I only got one, one of one root of each variety just to try them out. Um, they get 24 to 36 inches tall. So, you know, the roses should be just trying to starting to like, you know, leaf out when hopefully these start to bloom, but we'll see, or, or at least I, I don't know, I'm, I'm learning, okay? So, um, they should hopefully pop up over the roses. Then you have the roses, which will not be in bloom probably at this time, and then the daffodils and uh, the anemones. I keep wanting to say sea anemones, but I can, maybe I'll just call them land anemones. Uh, anyhow, so the, um, the peony roots should be planted uh, from what I read, and this is how I planted them. The, if you find the tallest bud on the roots, and they have little buds kind of all in one area, you find the, the highest one on the root section. So if, like they kind of go and they'll, they'll look all kinds of different crazy ways. You just find the highest one if you hold the root in front of you, you find the tallest one. You plant that tallest one two inches below the um, surface of the soil, or two inches, yes, I thought I said above two inches below the surface of the soil. And yeah, the first year, I believe they kind of generally, the blooms are tinier and punier and there's not as many. And then it just kind of gets bigger from there. Typical thing. So anyhow, this is part one of my bulb um, and, you know, roots, because obviously I got peony roots. Um, experiment, you know, foray into um, this new thing called bulbs for me. <laughs> like, I don't know anything about this and I'm trying it and I'm very excited. Uh, so the second part video should be, uh, again, I think I said this in my last video, but I'll go ahead and say it again. My second part video, as soon as they come in, will be uh, tulips and uh, lilies. And the lilies will also go in the front planter boxes but the tulips I'm going to, uh, because I'm going to dig them up when I'm done, the tulips will go in, uh, I'm going to have them in pots up front for, for people and myself to enjoy. 
so they will not go in the ground because if I'm digging up things I generally want to keep them in places that I remember where they're at very easily because I have a like two second memory and I can't remember anything <laughs> it worries me for when I get older I'm like am I do I have like early onset dementia like I do not remember things I don't know if this is just like like after becoming a mom I know my memory like went down significantly after becoming a mom uh, especially the more every kid you add on you like lose more of your memory abilities i mean i was pretty scattered before having kids but it's like bad now like i do not remember things <laughs> oh well okay i could you know we'll see we'll see how the where the future takes me um but anyhow this is this is basically where the next video will basically be tulips and lilies. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, I'm really excited. I will try to keep you updated if I don't. I mean, I'll take you on tours of my garden. So even if I forget to keep you updated on how the bulbs are doing, I'll probably inadvertently show you how the bulbs are doing uh, or how if they've come up or not just because of doing a garden tour. So yeah, anyhow, I um, hope you enjoyed this kind of uh, sporadic video that's you know I jumped around a lot in and and, and couldn't finish sentences and stuff but uh, you'll have a wonderful day and enjoy the cool weather. Bye!